I've been in a position where I've been on the edge of a knife through no fault of my own, through no fault of my friends that were there. It just happened and we were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Anyone is capable of picking up a knife. It's not just one race, one class. The reasons for it are extremely complex and I go over this all the time in my head, like why is this such an issue now? I'd say the main reason is lack of opportunity. If someone's already got a kind of disconnect from society, maybe they don't have role models surrounding them or may have mental health problems. You know, I'm not excusing that behaviour, but I think it's really important that we look at the reasons behind how they've got to that point. If we want to help make this narrative more positive, I think it is definitely about creating opportunities for young people because one opportunity can change someone's life. When I'm thinking about where I see myself in five years time, 10 years time, I want to get into like hosting, presenting, and I know that music will be at the heart of it, but I want to use my platform to help other people. Hello. Hi. I guess in order to counteract the lack of opportunity at the moment, there needs to be a huge sense of community. These young people need support more than ever at the moment. So set the scene, mm -hmm. introduce yourself, what's coming up, what's the next tune? Hello, it is a Monday night, it's very cold. The temperature has just dropped and it is freezing outside. Uh, my name is Kush, this is my first ever radio show. I've got a special guest, which I'm really, really, really excited about. But right now, I'm gonna take you to Nigeria. Are you an Arsenal fan? I am indeed an Arsenal fan. I'll be completely honest. I like watching Arsenal play. I like playing football myself. But the real reason, if I'm being completely honest, is because I fancied a certain French <laughs> footballer. <laughs> I have three siblings. We're all Arsenal fans. The unity it brings between my whole family, it's not even just the football, it's like the food we're eating around it, like us all sitting together, us all sharing the same moment. It's a very collective thing. They always push diversity and equality and they really like give back to their communities as well. Like I do think as a football club, they have a really good ethos behind them. So I do feel like proud to support Arsenal, even when we're not doing so well. Mm -hmm. My parents growing up, they were big activists. I learned a lot of history through them, which actually went like side by side with the music they were bringing me up on. A lot of things I learned about, I understood more through music. Throughout history, music has always been the soundtrack for change and even the music we play in our band, it's got a political message. The live music scene is definitely like really good at bringing people together. That energy that comes off of one performance will be reflected in the next and then everyone's just bouncing off each other. Tell me more about your cultural references in terms of like what you were brought up around mm -hmm. musically. A lot of it was like reggae, like my parents are quite like soul heads as well. And then my dad loves jungle. My siblings, they kind of grew up in the garage era, mm -hmm. like a bit of grime. My background is live music, so I was kind of brought up around like the kind of UK jazz scene. So that kind of went hand in hand with the hip hop. Well, I could put my feet, I got to get this money to, to taste sweet honey. You have to climb high to society trees, so you know what that means. Starting from the bottom with the rest of the leaves. This No More Red campaign that Adidas and Arsenal have set up is celebrating young people and all the amazing things they're doing. And Arsenal are going to be wearing an all-white jersey for one of their games, which I think is a really sick idea. When I heard about the campaign and when I saw the shirt, I was a little bit speechless almost. Yeah. I was like, this is a massive change. And mm. it's controversial for Arsenal to strip the red completely yeah, from their yeah, shirt. Yeah, all the logos, all the branding, all the sponsorship, everything is white. That representing no more bloodshed is going to spark so much conversation. It's not just looking at celebrities, yeah. talking about the negative effects of knife crime. It's actually creating and supporting relatable role models like yourself, for example, and like everybody else who is involved in this campaign. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I've been Kush. Thank you so much to Adidas, Arsenal, my amazing guest, Emerald Lewis, <laughs> in Soho Radio. Until the next time. I hope that everyone in the stadium, everyone watching on TV, takes a moment to really think about the campaign and what it means to them or what it means to their community. As long as we keep together, we keep united and we keep our heads in the right place and we keep doing this for good, then like change will come and it will be good one day. <laughs> yeah.